right oh haven't done one for a while everyone's been asking me to put one out so um i've just been busy working on the boat which i'll do in the next episode i'll do a, a full upgrade of the boat and what i've done to it um run you through how it's all going which is going pretty good at the moment it's getting there last couple of weeks i've been taking a few of my mates out and just people that i know that haven't caught a jewfish before so been getting their first jewfish and i've actually caught some bloody beauties i'll um i'll put some photos up now you can have a quick look for them and um, i've got a little bit of footage there of a couple that we got one night and i think we got one in the day and a couple more which i just took photos of so i'll put them up and but now i'm going to go out i'm actually a bit bored of catching them with bait so i have dusted off i've got to dust off the old lure rod she's a um what's this one i think it's six to eight a uh, five to what is she she's a five to eight kilo with a four and a half thousand reel on it i've just re-spooled it with um 15 pound 15 pound braid and i'm running um i'm running a 20 pound venish leader what's that it's probably about a meter and a half long and then i'm running a big grub i think she's 110 or 100 mil grub i'm not going to change lures this i reckon that's going to be the match i sort of just match what's what baits are around so that's probably the closest i can get for it for now actually i'm making me this so thanks for that too bud hopefully i can get some silver so the next couple of days um just fishing for lure on the lures trying to get one i'm gonna just fish today's the run out just it changed about oh, two hours ago so i'll fish the run out all the way down from here to um probably bar point or something like that i'll flick every point and all the straights and all the holes that i know and hopefully i can get one in the next couple of days for you so this is day one hopefully don't take me too long bloody hell but i'll get one so i'll just pack up now and i'll start heading down i'll, I'll, I'll i'm hoping i'll get one for this afternoon i reckon the bottom of the tide to save is my best bet for one but never know i'll get some good flatties too probably in between right let's do it all right so i'm out here now i'm just gonna basically flick every point drop off and just the main channels that i know just in Barawa from basically this is the corner of Calabash to um maybe um Bar Point or somewhere like that I'll head get to. Probably Cobar, I'll probably stop at Cobar for the end of the tide. So all I do, if you can see that, is cast the I cast it out as far as I can. Just let it hit the bottom. I think it's about seven metres here, so she'll take some dropping. you just got to keep in contact with the lure too. That's what I find with, with getting jewfish on lures. That's, that's just hit the bottom there now. Just one little rise. So I do wind keeping contact with the whole line the whole time. And I usually hit it on the drop. Then it's just a matter of striking. Striking and friggin' holding on. <laughs> so I'll keep up to date too, but I see how long it takes me to get one. So this is this is day one, first first cast. Run out tide too, so I might even fish. I'll see how I go today, and I might fish. The high tide's probably going to be like nine o'clock tomorrow morning, so I might fish the top of that. Same spots, because I know they're in here, so we'll just just got to track them down. Burn the right, same spot they are. The, burn the right place at the right time. Oh, it's a good thing about lure fishing—you cover a bit of ground too. 
So the next point I'll do is the top of Calabash. The big drop there where that uh, flash and yellow flash and mark is, it drops into about 14 metres there, so I'll do that as well. Then I'll do the next two points, Rats Castle, Collingridge Point, Half Moon Bay, uh, Twin Gums, the big hole, I don't know what that hole's called, what that point's called, but, and then Coba. Or the highway, I call it. Get back to this in a minute. I'll just show you these fish too. I've been caught. I'll put them on right now. Um, these couple of fish I caught for me mates the other night. So I've been getting a few good ones. I'll show them now, and then we'll keep flicking. There's a bit of bait. I just seen bait. It's not far away. Oh fuck! Big head shakes. Big yeah, he's a big fish. Big flathead. No, no, it's a big jig. Not a big jig. You want him around that side of the net? Yeah, have you got... Grab that net, Stan. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Hey, let's get the big one. Yeah, I'll just He's alright, he's a nice... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'll steer him into you. Lalo Granta. <laughs> mm. Bring him in. They just keep coming. You little beauty. 115 or something of this is a nice fish. <laughs> All right, we've got one on here. We've chased it around the whole boat. Oh, this Pete's going to come in here. This is a friggin' good fish, we think. We've chased it for about, I reckon, half an hour. It's gone up around the boat, up around the anchor, under bets. Here she comes. <laughs> watch this. It is a good fish. Just watch that line, Pete, because it's no, it's no, it, no, that's no, fifteen no, pound no, line I've got on here with a twenty pound leader, so it's not much. Run. We're running pretty fine, which I like to do. I have to live it on the edge. We'll get her up here. Oh, come on, baby! Here she comes. She'll be getting tired now. Right up under the boat there. It's going right under. Don't Is it? Right underneath. Oh, yeah. Just try and get some on it, Pete, because it, it'll hit the rudder or, or, or run down back down. Oh, you yeah, come on. Come on, girl. It's a fucking. We want to sort of get it back in and then back in the water. Yes, there she is. There she is. There she is, people. Oh. Look at that. For a Jew. Yeah. That's probably. Uh, a metre 20. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. just stop you there. <laughs> no, here she is. Pete's on here. 120. Fish are plenty. Yeah, boys. Back. I'm back. Nice little flatty. Not a bad start, third cast. Just need a little lure. There you go. It's a beautiful little lure I got here. I'm just chasing a jewfish. 
on the lure. Dirty flatty, got it. Yeah, look at that. <coughs> right, I'm now at Half Moon Bay. I've done a couple little points there, and buddy, because the tide's not the tide's not running out. It's only a small sort of run out tide, and there's a bloody wind. This little breeze has picked up now. So it's sort of hard to stay on track to hold the points to, to flick to fish them. But so I've just come over to Half Moon Bay to see if I can get out of it. And um, there's not even much surface action today. It's a bit strange. The light's bloody. She's gone dead. Real quiet. Uh, hopefully, at the end of the tide, maybe they might come on. Which is sort of half tide now, I think. Just not holding. There's a breeze blowing in, and the tide's running out. It's just holding me still. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Just means I've got to start because I don't run an electric motor, I've just got to start the engine up and move, but sort of scares your point to the fish. First, I just head straight down the middle, straight down the bloody main river, and just flick straight down the guts of somewhere, which I might try. Just doesn't seem to be much action up on the surface, so may they're in deep. It's a full moon tonight too, so maybe that's the bloody thing. Good thing about using these big lures too, your, your bycatch is pretty good, it's not, <laughs> they're usually pretty good flathead so, um, you can't really complain about that, especially if you like a feed of flatties, which I don't mind them. Just trying a couple of little different techniques too, double bounce, single bounces. Just as long as you keep contact with that lure. That dog's a bit of a pain in the ass. That's that point going off. I usually only do about 10 casts on the point and then move on. So I might do this cast one more once I head around the corner a bit more and sort of start to head out of it now. And I'll, one more cast after this one and then I'll move to the next point which is uh, Twin Gums is the next point. Listen to that dog. I remember in me shotgun. Come on. Yeah, I had a bit of a nibble then. Usually if I get a bit of a nibble, I just stop it and give it a bit of a jiggle. Nibble, get a, get a nibble, have a jiggle. Oh. Oh, Lord. 
no, he's still good. One more, then I'll go to the next point. There's a couple of bloody seagulls around there working, working the water yesterday. I might sort of suss that out. If I see them ducking and weaving again, I'll go and flick some lures around them. I've seen a couple of hair tail belting across the top of the surface yesterday too, when I was coming up the river. Also, I've never seen before. Well, it's not a bad day for it. Any day's pretty good for it though. Come on, you bugger. Just a flatty, just a, gets a bit boring after a while. I think it's my ADHD kicking in or something. All right, next point. So I'm not going to bother bringing it to me. I know that there's nothing underneath. I've brought a couple of lures to the boat now. That's it. All right, move on. Move on to the next point. Well, I'm just taking note of this. It's bloody... Um, the wind's picked up a bit. The tide's running a bit harder now. But um, just taking note. It's a full moon tonight. So has that got to do to do with sorry about that has that got to do with the bloody how quiet it is there's no action like i'm driving up the river trying to even look for a mullet or something jumping bit of bird work and action nothing eh just thought i'd throw it in to keep yeah I'll leave us a comment too and see what you what you think about the full moon because i reckon it's i don't know no I just don't know i know it's freaking cold around it big tides but yeah we'll see how we go I'll just keep plotting away this is only day one one lure one rod one rod one lure and the net that's all I got and a bag of chips <laughs> and two beers sorry it's a two beer trip home for me because old Betsy's only got the eight horsepower on her so I work all the way down work all the points on the way down and then um sit down and just plot on the way back just sit and have a couple of beers on the way home can't complain just want to lose even a freaking little flathead just to bloody liven me up a bit it's a problem running big lures you sort of you struggle with anything all right keep going this is a point i'll just hopefully on the back of this just over there if you can see as the point comes around, it's sort of eddy, so I'm sort of just trying to hopefully I'll push into it. And I'll flick into that eddy. Might be a little silver hanging around over there. Then um, then the next two points, I'll fish them, drop off. So just around the next point, just a sandy drop off into the main channel. So I'll just, I'll drift around the main channel and just flick lures on the drop up onto the flat and then back into the deep I'm not moving that wind's just holding me up pain in the ass. all good alright get back to you yeah, we might have a bloody dewy oh it's a big lizard look oh it's a massive lizard I'll get him up here for you. Another big lizard. Fucking no jewfish though, the bastards. Right, I just didn't get that on, buddy. GoPro on quick enough. I just lost one. He just took off on me. Oh, I'll just check that leader. I bloody try to turn the GoPro on to get it. He's, I must have just foul hooked him or something. The leader feels alright. Just the wind's picked up now, and I just sort of landed. It landed on him, and um, he took off again. Lost him. Had a bit of weight to him as well. I don't know really what. 
I'll just try to get sneaky around the corner back onto it, but it's not going to work. Oh, that sucks. It's fishing. That's what it's all about, I suppose. But it felt like a good fish, too. Back into it. Yeah. Just sort of hit the... As I cast the lure down, it was sort of just about to hit the bottom, and he's grabbed it. Started running. And... Um, I couldn't really do much because he was powering. I was trying to turn the GoPro on so he could see it, but the time I got all that happening, he was gone. Anyway, keep casting. Cast, cast, cast. <coughs> right, finally got one, I think. Just I had a hit and then. Oh. Little, little dew. Oh, that's a good sign. He's um, he's not a bad little fish. Not. Oh. Well, we need an upgrade from that, but not a bad little effort. Oh, he smashed me a little bit of pieces too. So I'll just bite the ends off them. Just cut the end, and um, if it splits, where you go again. Oh, that's a good sign. Hopefully, they come on a little bit now. Bloody wake me up. So that'll just um, cut the end off, then just re thread it if it splits like that. With the old ones, you used to be able to put a hot knife from and it would join back together. But, um, yeah. I actually got hit then and then I missed him. So I just quickly let it bounce twice and then dragged it back in and then cast it back over to where I got hit and, and landed back on him. Hopefully they come on a bit. Freaking hell. A couple of flatties and then a bloody dewy. Wasn't much of a dewy, but a little upgrade now would be nice. But I'm just on the chains there. It's blowing pretty hard back there now, so I've just had to come up um, back up the river a bit. Just see how I go. Um, sort of make my way back now. Bloody wind. Couple, I'm just in the main channel here now of the river, so I'm just pot luck really. Just trying my luck. Oh, finally got one. <laughs> just. Um, it's only little, I don't know what this friggin' thing is. Oh, it's a little lizard, look. Another lizard. The old lizard, there he goes. Let him go. He's, um, gone back to the white, just, um, right on the end of the tide it is now. It's got, oh, it's got an hour till it finishes, so. I've been getting some nice hits, but I think what it is is the lizard's because I'm using such a big lure, they're sort of hitting it, but missing the hook. That's what he just did there, he was just sitting on the back of the lure. Um, not sort of the fish I want though, buddy. Keep poking at him. He wasn't a bad fish, I suppose. I could have netted him, but what do you want to do? I'll get another one. I might keep one if I get another lizard. Beer and flat edge for dinner, is it? Alright, far out. 
We need a zinger. We need a zinger. I want this reel peeling off the friggin' thing. Well, the sun's dropping. Uh, tide's right on sundown, so... I bloody... After that flatty, I bet okay, getting flathead hits, but all they're doing is coming up. Me, me lure's that big. They're like five and six hundred flatties, but they're coming up with a bloody... Just with the tail in their mouth. As soon as they see me, they just open the mouth and swim away. But oh, this is a prime time to get a bloody silver bugger. Yes, it's got to happen in the next hour, doesn't it? As soon as that sun gets, well, the sun's gone. Just the dark, just on dark. I'm hoping. Jeez, all going to happen. Beautiful Harvey, the, the wind's dropped now. Well, I'll just give you a little zap around. This is what I'm putting up with at the minute. Probably not a bad sunset. Anyway. I friggin' haven't got one. Real quiet. Um... I just rang another mate too, and he sort of got a bit quiet too today. But I've learnt that um, five and six hundred flatties don't like them big lures. They come flapping up, just holding onto the tail. But um, what do you do? Keep hitting it. Um, perfect bloody arvo. Oh, 